This is a short to the point video of the Global Climate Change Carbon Dioxide Bathtub Model Simulator. It's provided by planetseed.com, S-E-E-D that is. The bath is the atmosphere, the water obviously is the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the inflow are carbon dioxide emissions, and the outflow is the extremely limited capacity of the planet, natural processes to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This represents the natural pre-industrial state where there's plenty of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and it is stable. The uh, water is not going up. It's remaining at exactly the same level, which means that the inflow is exactly matched by the outflow. This occurs at a pretty precise uh, inflow of uh, emissions, natural emissions that is. And with the simulation, it's exactly at this point where the middle of the handle meets this line on the tile here. If we nudge this up just a little tiny bit, the water in the bathtub goes up. We nudge it up more, of course, it goes up more. And it's going to continue going up now, still going up. It's going to continue going up until we bring it back right there to that precise point where the inflow again is matched by the outflow. We have a very different concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It's stabilized. Stabilized at the same point, and the point is zero carbon emissions, where additional carbon dioxide emissions from uh, industrial civilization is not being added to the natural carbon dioxide emissions. So we'll now show this zero carbon reality and what we have to do to stabilize atmospheric concentration no matter where it is by cranking the thing right up. It's rising fast, crank it back, still rising fast, crank it back, still rising fast, back still fast, back still rising way too fast, back to here and it stops rising okay it's only at this point where we're not adding any extra carbon dioxide emissions to the atmosphere that it's stable that the carbon dioxide concentration stops rising. The lessons are that it doesn't take very much of an increase in the natural amount of planetary carbon dioxide emissions for us to tip the climate system out of balance and in that situation the atmospheric concentration even with a very small relative increase will progressively uh, increase and increase and increase. Carbon dioxide is highly cumulative in the atmosphere. There's only one way to stabilize the level, there's only one way to stabilize atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration, and that's to stop adding any more emissions. We can cut back and cut back and cut back, but only until we stop emitting can we stabilize the atmospheric carbon dioxide level.